looking at now is the future terminus of the Lewis here in St. Stephen's Green. As you can see, it's still very much under construction. So what we're looking at now is the top of Stevens' green, and looking down, you can see the construction works going on right down to the top end of Stevens' green. The tram tracks are pretty much laid now as far as Parker Street, so it's even going up Parker Street. Right. Um as you can see, the, tra the tracks are more or less laid all the way down Harvard Street. On your, on your right, all the front of Street is the Norwich Gallery here, and you've got the Sunday Business Post. What's the significance of the Business Post and the Origin Gal Gallery? Well, both have had um, had to say about the Harvard Street now. Not been very positive. Yeah. That's it. Oh. All that needs to be added is the insertion of the catenary and then the final fixing works on the uh, stop itself. Okay, that's it. So, this is going to be all the platform just opposite Harcourt Street Station. So, this is up on Adelaide Road. And you can see there's a gantry that we're standing on where the track curves around from Harcourt Street. This is the newest laid section track then as well, and then it curves around into Peter's, Peter's place and goes on the ramp across the canal. So our next stop is look at the ramp. So where does it curve and the rise? It goes around to the back of the Hilton and then rises to cross the canal beside the Hilton Hotel then. Right. It's, it's the yellow brick building over there. Right, so what you can see is you can see the ramp and what we'll do is we'll just zoom in a little bit in here to show how it rises and that's going to take the Lewis line then over the bridge, over, over the canal Well this is where the line crosses the canal and um, the station itself is going to be on the bridge and as you can see there are two sets of staircases accessing um, the Charlemagne stop There's also going to be a shop and there's a substation then underneath the bridge as well So the station is actually on the bridge itself? The station is actually on the bridge itself, yeah Right, and you can see the steps then rising up. Yes. Where are the steps going to? Well, onto the track. Yeah. It's certainly blending in well with the Carroll's building, isn't it? It is. Well, this is the Grand Parade entrance then to the Charlemagne stop. So if you want to follow me up. themselves are fully low floor as well. And if you pan around to the right there, you can see the catenary is fully up to almost to here. Just stops short now, just at the Carroll's building. That's correct, yeah. So I think we might be able to even walk down a little. Well, there you are. Well, as you can see, we're still in the track bed here. Um, Carroll's building. And then we we'll just have to cross over Northbrook Avenue. And going down towards Leeson Park there. And um, that's Ranla stop just over the bridge there. You can actually see, you can see it in the video, the slightly more detailed paving. Uh, Ranla station itself would be quite a detailed building. Mm. And we're coming to the point where the track drops down to grade level and crosses over at the site of the old Ranla and Rath mine station then. Yeah. So where are we at the moment, Con? We're just after crossing over Castlewood Avenue. Um, that's around the station in the background, and further on ahead is the site of the old Rath Mines and Randall station, which would be the Beechwood stop. And um, as you can tell from the level of the wall here, this is where the track was originally at a higher level, but the original embankment has been cut down to cross uh, Beechwood Avenue at, at grade level. Is there a ramp up ahead there? That's not a ramp, that's actually just the, we're actually coming down, and the track is going to be back on, on level then. All right, okay. The 
we're just looking back at where we've come out of from Ranala and we're at Beechwood here, crossing over Beechwood Avenue and looking down towards the Cooper stall. Venting was blown down at some point. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to start from here and do the hand shot from there? Yeah. And then around. So there's a stop here then, is there? Yeah. When you're ready, I can do the go. Go. Right, so um, this is Cooper stop, and uh, this was the subject of one of the objections of the Line B uh, public inquiry, where the residents objected to having the stop here as they considered that it was unnecessary as Beechwood is just further down, and then the Milltown stop is further along. In actual fact, it would have left about two kilometres without, without a stop, so it was considered too far. If you look at the original video, at this point there was a wall cutting across. The ESB had taken over this section and was using it as a car park for a number of years and um, had done some cable laying further down. As you can see, it's been recovered from the railway. So they must have. Sorry, sorry go ahead. They must have uh, managed to claim the land back then on that, did they? Semi state body sending that. As you can see here, um, this is one of the more happier results of the Line B public inquiry. Uh, there was originally, a, as you can see, there was originally a granite stone faced wall which was about a, a roughly a metre and a half in height on the site of the original line. This has been now rebuilt in more open form and provides a certain amount of separation between the railway and the, and, um, the, the road, mm. but it doesn't visually kick out the railway. Also as you can see the track along the south of Beechwood is all ba is ballasted now with sleeper with concrete sleepers. Mm. At the back of Alexandra College here now and they were heading down towards the Milltown stop which is just about uh, 250 meters down this way. Okay. As you can see this is Milltown stop and it's more or less on the site of the old original Milltown station. Uh, to the right you can see that the track is rising to cross the daughter on the nine arches. Uh, just on the left hand side you can see a two metre high wall which uh, was a result of the insistence of the residents behind it from the Line B public inquiry. Plenty of concrete in that and they don't come cheap. Here we are Colin. At the nine arches. It's the first time I've actually ever been on the top of the nine arches bridge because for years the bridge it was still intact and kept intact, but it was closed off, so you couldn't actually cr climb across. Did they have barbed wire or something like that? No, they had concrete walls blocking it off. As you can see, the lads have put up Christmas lights on it. Very festive. Very festive indeed. So this is it. This is the Nine Arches Bridge. We're heading into what we're crossing over by Milltown. And you can see there's a few happy walkers out along the track as well today. Also, you might be interested to notice that the chimney of the old laundry was restored by the contractors as part of the project. All right, and what they they so repointed it, and it's just it's, it's remaining as a feature then of the, from the original from the original um, landscape yeah. of the line. So just looking back now towards Milltown Station, and what's the next station stop on the way? That would be at Windy Arbor. So we're going to head down towards there now. Stuff. Okay, we're now south of Milltown, and if I just scan down a little, we can see just driving down towards the stop at Windy Arbor. So where is this now? This is Windy Arbor. This is Windy Arbor and this is the site of the former metal bridge, which was one of the most um, prominent landmarks in the old part of the street line. Mm. And, um, so where are we now? Okay, as you can see we're just south of Dundrum. And you can see that sorry, I beg your pardon, north of Dundrum. And you can see the uh, suspension bridge and a couple of little permanent wave vehicles down as well. Now, we're going to see if we can cross the Taney Bridge, but if, if we can't, we won't worry about it. Now you see the bridge, we've got as far as we can go on this particular walk, I think. Yes. Uh, as you can see, the Katini has been strung across the bridge at the moment, and yeah. also the lads are doing some works on the side, so... <laughs> 